our various understanding upon what is deemed as um, morality, then we would all be going at different angles and there will be no set guidance as per governance. I agree, we have common morality, yes. it doesn't come from God. So we would argue to the contrary, because from the beginning of time, all religions, for example, have espoused. So, so how do you understand the, the concept of the matrimony of marriage? Well, morality is before religion. Religion is not the cause of morality. But then who defines what mor morality is then? The species. When you examine a species, you can see its morality. You can see the species, how, how so? So if you were to look at a pack of wolves, the way how they operate, the rules, which they operate by, and they do operate by rules. Oh that is their morality. Oh Same with dogs. You can go to most semi-intelligent species mm. and you can find a somewhat code of conduct. Yeah. And the reason for that is because it allows the species to continue surviving. The reason we don't like a man having sex with a woman without uh, permission or marriage, yeah. or you know, these things is because we've determined these rules help us survive. It helps us society to run the way we want it to. Yeah. But what we would then say, you made an interesting point of like a, a semi-understanding being like animals as an example. But what, because we are a species which is, has the remit to of faculty of mind, of reasoning, of understanding. We are created in a, an, a, an understanding of our creator who has set us apart from other creation in a sense that we are intelligible. We have so many different faculties from the um, species that you mentioned, like animals right. and so forth. Yeah. Hence, it becomes a source of our guidance to then follow an objective morality. So we say the objective morality can only possibly come from God because if we as human beings all give our subjective moral standard on something, then we will never reach to a central conclusion as to what would be deemed as a morality or not a morality. So I'll give you a small example. What are your views on LGBTQ? Sorry, I'm going to be invaded. <laughs> yeah, you can, yeah. uh, I can't get that on camera, bro. I'm not, no. I, I so what we're going to we're going to blur you out. We're going to blur you out. Okay, I yeah. promise you. We we got so many videos. We blur yeah. people out who made the request. They don't want to be yeah. seen. You know, you know, like a pixel effect where yeah, you're blurred yeah, yeah. out totally. But you can't be seen. So I yeah. promise you, you won't be seen. Guys, remember this, brothers. Yeah, no recording of this brother's face over here. Yeah, please remember that. Yeah, inshallah. Go go ahead, my friend. Um. Yeah, man, it's not it's not my business. The LGBTQ, they're not they're not my business. But the, if they become business, whereby your just say God bless you with children. Have you got children? No. Just say you have children, right? And you don't agree with it, as as as, okay. as per lots of people don't. But at school, they have to learn about it. What are you going to do about it then? But then it does become uh, then it does become your business. Take my child out of the school. What if that is not a possibility? What if you have to they have to learn as a part of their education? I can't say them out of school. You can, but you won't be able to give that as a sufficient reason. You can't say, well, I'm going to take my kids okay, out. Yeah, sure, I'll give them a, a different reason and take them out of the school. Okay, so now you're basing an object, a morality which you deem as... Um, um, yeah. um, see, so where is that coming from? That's coming from a divine source. But you're not basing it upon what you can... Because the LGBTQ argument, for example, would be if we, as consenting adults, like you said earlier, it's not your business. But if they are consenting adults to getting up to the privacy of their own um, uh, whatever, and they're not harming anyone, well, they're not harming you. But the moment it comes to learning about your school for your children, which will become incumbent, you're going to take a move. You're going to make a move. Yeah. And that move will be based upon an objective morality as to why that action of premarital same sex is not acceptable. So that is based upon an upper morality given to you by a creator, which has been subsistent in all creation, in all beings. We call it an upper objective morality. I'd call it natural morality. Well, they don't argue, I mean, the people of that disposition, they don't argue that point. Their argument simply, and, I, and I'm a true intelligent uh, man like you, I've heard straight, straight away, in essence, the fact that they're not harming anyone at all in the privacy of their own home, they can do whatever they like. It shouldn't affect you or shouldn't affect me. So, for example, but you've accepted that. So what I'm basically trying to say to you, my friend, is that comes from a higher source. Who is to say that if they're not 
in any way, shape or form affecting us that they shouldn't be given the right to do what they want because they're not harming anyone else. It's their self-right. Yeah. But at the same time, me and you have found it because we found it from an upper, from a divine source, which is given the, the consent of Adam and Eve. For example, God didn't make Adam and Steve, God made Adam and Eve. Okay, so we procreated through history. All um, healthy and uh, generations of progenies have gone through as a result of, you know, yeah, nuclear yeah. families, strong families. Yeah, yeah. But so but you can observe nature and come to that conclusion as well. That's what I'm saying. Well, the LGBTQ may argue that even animals they can get up to these acts as well. Same, yeah, but yeah. They, they would make that argument. But it's a false argument. Good. So that all, all the animals are continuing to exist because the majority of them have to procreate properly. Excellent. Good. So what I'm saying to you, this all comes from you see in essence from a, 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 a objective morality which is defined by our creator. So then he decides of what is acceptable and unacceptable. A code of conduct upon how one leads one life, one's life. And that is based upon his the, the teachings of of a creator for our betterment. So promiscuity, for example, what are your views on sexual promiscuity? Should, um, should is it acceptable to have premarital sex with lots of women and then settle down one day and have uh, 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 a marriage? Is that acceptable? Yeah. You think that's acceptable? Yeah. There's no issue with that whatsoever. So then, so see, you're, now you're basing this morality upon your understanding, which is a subjective morality in essence. You're basic. Yeah. But, but that is what you've deemed as acceptable. However, you found the other instant which I gave as unacceptable. So that's a subjective morality on your part, but on, on the other part, you're allowing it because again, you're applying the same um, um, standard or the same criteria. Hence, what I'm saying to you, it makes more sense that an overall objective morality should come from a creator. So something like um, same-sex, um, uh, what you call um, physicality, it's not allowed. Similarly, same um, uh, um, heterosexual relationships out of marriage, not allowed. allowed because of what happens, we get rampancy of sexual degeneracy which occurs, hence we get masses of sexually transmitted diseases. That's a very no well-known fact amongst all research which has shown. I agree. Yeah. Like for the majority of people, the laws that come from religion help. Like for the majority of society, following the general rule, I have no problem with that. But you asked me personally about you yeah. know, how I feel. Yeah, no, I, I do. I mean, I respect what you're saying as well. But what I'm trying to say to you, my friend, is that that will, not, that will be deemed generally as subjective. But we need an overall standard. I don't believe in a objective morality. Yeah, so we need a standard bearer who will then define to us as that we got to follow the law in that essence. What is our guidance or not? Because if we got all take our subject to morality, we would never come to a set stringent way of living. That would then be augmented by a divinely decreed law. So we believe God's law is one which overpowers the law of man. Of man. The world we live in. The law we live in, yeah. You know? Everyone's morality is subjective. Yeah, but, but we yeah. all have parts where it crosses over. Yes. It's not completely you know, insane. We all here believe in somewhat of a similar morality. That's why we're able yeah. to, you know, yeah. live harmoniously. Yeah, to some yeah. Extent. Definitely, definitely. Good yeah. stuff. Yeah. I've really enjoyed speaking to you. What's your name? Michael. Michael. You, you don't, you don't have to give me your name if you don't. Mine's Mustafa anyway. Delighted to speak to you, my friend. Okay. Right. Good match. Can I give you a free copy of the Quran, maybe in English, if you'd like one? Uh, free of charge. Do you know what? I actually have one. You have one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Is he here? Pardon? The first time I came here, I was I had a long conversation with um, a guy who used to stand up behind there. Oh, he's not here today. Okay. He's thinking he may be hiding behind under a rubber. Uh, uh,